It's like two more mana than this. Flickers. It's good. But this has Evoke. I don't think uh, Revelark has Evoke. If it does, I don't remember. But it's good. Revelark was the card. Yes. Rebuild. You want this in all your blue. Any commander deck that has blue, you probably want this. I'm pretty sure Josh Lee Kwai of the Command Zone has talked about this. It's one of his favorite pet cards. Now it's reprinted. Get this. Get this as soon as you can. Get as many as you can. Not that it'll be expensive, but it's just a really good card. You're returning all their soul rings, their mana rocks, any weird annoying enchantments, or not enchantments, artifact creatures too. Don't forget the creatures. Uh, I wonder if this bounces the artifact lands. It probably does because they are artifacts. You want this. This does this does so much work for three mana. And if no one has artifacts, cycle it. Just get rid of it and get something else. That's good. That's really good. What a day, guys. What a day. Throat Seeker. This is this is the vampire. It's vampire ninja. So it goes oh, okay, sorry. Only unblocked ninjas you control have lifelink, so Unfortunately, not vampires, but this is really good in the ninja deck to kind of help you stay in the game a little bit longer if you get this out. Building up your life is never a bad thing in Commander, at least in my opinion. You never want to have low life, that's for sure. So, And it's only 3 mana for a 3-2. It's okay. This is this is going to fit right into the ninja decks. No big deal. Urza's Rage. Uh, no. I think this is a reprint, but I don't really see it doing anything. You can kick it for, what's that, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 mana deal 10 damage to something. Uh, maybe. Unlikely, but maybe. Squirrel Nest. Make squirrels. It's okay. I think I know someone down in my LGS that plays with this. It's a reprint. It's good. It's okay, at least. Sliver, sliver. Wind shards. Sacrifice. Start. Oh, storm. So if someone, I mean, <laughs> you have to you have to cast a few spells for this to be really good. But um uh m maybe. I'll give this one a solid maybe, but I don't really think so at the same time. A sliver, you don't I don't care. Uh undead auger and other zombie control dodge. That's good. I'm building zombies right now. So this is exactly what I want in that zombie deck, and I'm glad that it's an uncommon. Like I would have been really cool if it was zombie or Wizard too, because that would make a Nolidex nuts when the token uh, dies at the end of turn. This would be nuts. It's still really good though. Like this is just free draw. This is that one. Uh, there's a rare and standard right now that does this for one more mana, I believe. And that card's nuts. You want this? You want that? They also chaos. Oh, this is the Cascade Retrace card that's gonna help. Uh, kind of stormy decks. Maybe it's okay with Kess. Maybe it's okay in other spell slinger decks. I don't know. Maybe it's just a dead card, but it does help build up your And it does have Cascade, keep that in mind. You do get it something for free, essentially. This is the dude riding a unicorn zebra. I don't even know if we need to talk about what it does. Unicorn zebra. Zebra unicorn, whatever. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying, the art. Oh, look, look right down there. Some more Sedmican art. We'll get to you. We'll get to you. There's that black changeling. Uh, tribute mage. You want this. It fetches up the things that the other two mages, the trinket mage and uh, whatever the other one is, doesn't get. You want this. It's a free tutor on a creature. I think I already said how I feel about those. They're pretty good. Um, I don't know why. I have this weird habit of like right clicking unintentionally. It's a, I think it's from other games I play. Hazra Smoke Shaper. It's a ninja. Uh, when you're to destroy target creature. Oh, but target creature control games. Oh, indestructible. There are lots of tricks you can do with this in ninja decks. If you've played around with ninjutsu, I had a friend who had a Vela deck. This was before uh, Yuriko came out, and it was it was Vela ninjas, and it was nuts, and I loved it very much. It was one of the cooler decks I've ever played against, and I can't wait to see how fleshed out it'll be with all these ninjas now. Uh, this is a draft card. Wall of Blossom. This is a really old card. Absolutely gorgeous art on it. Um, It's okay in the wall tribal decks. You draw a card. So two mana draw a card. You get a 0-4 defender. It's okay. Answered Prayers. This is one of those old from like the Urza's block where you had enchantments that would turn into creatures if you met certain criteria. This is that. 
it's I don't know if it's great, but it does have seven kind art, so obviously it's already incredible. Twist reflections. I love modal spells, but this one could be okay. Uh, the bottom part is what really uh, interests me. Switch target creatures, power and toughness in the turn. That can sometimes like trip up creatures and make the the combat more in your favor. I've definitely seen cards like this trip me up before. Maybe you want to play it. Maybe the one drop changeling. I love this. This slots in pretty much every tribal deck that has black in it, of course. It's good. I don't see a reason why it would be bad. It can't block and can't be blocked. The can't be blocked part is what I love about it most. It's good. It's really good. Sliver. Don't care. Another shapeshifter. Green one. It's like a crazy looking spider. Again with the greens and purples. These contrasting colors are really, really doing it for me in this set, man. There's the battlefield. There are three or more creature cards. Gain five life. I mean, if you need a changeling in your deck that has a reach, okay, okay. Sliver. Hideaway is good. And just put the exile card. Uh, I mean, the art's nuts. I don't know how to feel about this card. I'm sure there's some weird effects that it has, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hideaway is good. I'll tell you that much. This is insane in every mono black deck this is really 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 pushed for a common gets minus one target creature gets minus one minus one until end of turn for each swamp you control excuse me this is just flat out and it's instant speed uh, <laughs> listen you do have to have the right amount of lands to destroy the creature but this is going to do work this for a, i don't understand how this is at least an uncommon for a common this is this is it's really good it's really, really good. <laughs> uh, free sack a lid on a creature. Already a big fan of this card until end of turn. And it becomes a dragon. Has so you sack a creature, and this becomes a four-four dragon with flying in haste. Maybe I do like the free sack outlet, but maybe we'll see. Mm. This is another one of those. What, what is with the elks and having to have something? What are you doing over there, Iggy? You guys probably can't hear, but she is just running around right now. Anywho, what is with these elks and having to have another creature into the battlefield to get another effect? Like, what? What is that? What is? What is with that? That's interesting, I guess. <laughs> Ephemerate, exile target creature. Oh, it's a blink card. I like this, and it rebounds. So you can do something again. I like that a lot. The art's a little weird. It just looks like they painted a line and went with the eraser brush on it. Or not brush, but eraser on it. But, I mean, it looks cool. Uh, Chiller Pillar. I just love the name on this thing. It's cool to see Monstrosity back. It's a shame that you have to have the two snow permanents, two snow mana to do it. Uh, when it's monstrous, it has flying. So it goes into a Chiller Moth, Chiller Butterfly. There's a butterfly in the background of the art, too. Looks like there's, like, the, uh, the, the island land in the background too this is cool the art is uh, i really like the the art in this card and i'm just happy to see monstrosity back because when i stopped playing this was like the it was like theros block so monstrosity was very much a thing and it, i mean flavor wise this this hits all the right the right numbers for me it's got the, the art with the flavor is beautiful too like it, it it's doing a little bit of everything for me diabolic edict is a reprint it's been reprinted plenty of times but now it's modern legal i don't know if it'll be good in modern but it is it's okay. Sliver. Elvish Fury. It has buyback. Plus two, plus two, and don't return. Mm, I don't think I'll play it, but it is a, it's an okay card, I imagine. Shroud. Mm, nah. Choking Tethers. Tap up to four target creatures. It has cycling. Whenever you cycle Tethers, you may... No. Four mana for this. I mean... Listen, this could be good because you're tapping up to four target creatures. That basically means you're turning off someone's army for a little bit. Maybe it'll help you get through, but I'm pretty sure there are much better cards than this. Is it bad? No, not at all. Is it good? Like I said, there's just better cards you can play. It's just better for the draw card deals one life. Loses one life. Uh, the art's creepy. It's like a skeleton centipede long boy monster thing. Eh, yeah. 
six mana. Eh, 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 eh. Fist of Flame, draw a card until your turn. Creature you control get trample. Oh, target creature you control get trample. If for each card you've drawn this turn, Feather. Feather wants this. Feather wants this really bad. He recently built Feather, so I want this in my Feather deck. You should probably want this in your Feather deck too. Trample is what that what that deck needs. Uh, I couldn't tell you how many times I would buff up my dudes and they'd just be jump blocked. It was a real shame. Oh, oh, oh. It was a real shame. Uh, excavating a new wood. Enter the bathroom. Draw. Disc sacrifice your land. If you do draw a card, threshold. I mean, it's a frog for your frog tribal. It's probably not the worst thing ever. Imposter of the six pride again with the purple. Uh, it's not even my favorite color, but I just love the way it's, like, really making this art pop. I would love to see this in foil, especially if just, like, the purple was foil. This would look, this would look insane. This would look insane as a foil. And it's a white changeling for 2-3-1. It's a good vampire. <laughs> uh, eye kites? Look at, the, what is this awkward little dude? This is my spirit animal right here. This is how I feel out in public. Uh, gets plus 2, plus so as long as you draw two more cards this turn. Yeah, I mean it's okay. <laughs> it's definitely goofy looking. Look, look at this ugly dude with evolve. And evolve decks actually, I've, my friend has a sort of like a modern evolve deck with a pelt collector. It wouldn't fit. This would not fit in that deck. But I have seen evolve do mad work. And evolve was one of the mechanics from when I first started playing around what M13 uh, Return to Ravnica block. So I'm happy to see this back at the very least. The art is. It's definitely getting across that this is an ugly slug. That is for sure. Look at the slime over here. This would look pretty cool in foil, I imagine. But it is. Uh, uh, let's just move on. Geomancer's Gambit. Destroy target lands. Control and research. Slave for basic land card. But on battlefield, draw a card. I like this. I play land Tate in my Zanja deck. I don't know if I'll necessarily put this in there. Because I'd rather just have... um. Probably just about anything else. But this, this is in that one modern deck I was talking about earlier. It's like... Something with a P, man. I wish I could remember. Uh, but this might go in there. It's pretty good. It draws a card after destroying the land. It's okay. It's okay. Frostwalla. Look at this cute boy. Frostwalla gets put in. In draft. Or in sealed, whatever. This is probably okay. This is probably really okay. Uh, in regular cohorts. Just a changeling. So this makes two changelings. You want this. You absolutely want this. This is pretty good. It makes two two twos for four mana, and they're both changelings. This is two great vampires, in my opinion. I want that. I want that very bad. Fairy Seer for Popper. I don't know why they want... It's like they don't want blue to be great, and then they print stuff like this into Popper. Let's ban Gush. Uh, but then let's make Fairy Seer. <sighs> Let's just move on. I, I could talk so much smack about this for the rest of the day. Hellbent, uh, Spectre deals coming in. It's okay. This is okay. Game control target creature. Goat Lives Matter. Shout out to Bad Boy Gaming. I love that guy. He's a really goofy dude. Subscribe to him if you would like. He's a pretty funny guy. He does lots of uh, box openings. And he had this whole controversy with uh, some dude and goats. I can't totally remember, but I remember... That just being, like, all he talked about for the longest time. And it was really, really funny for a while. Uh, but you do gain control of target creature. This is great in Yasova decks. If that creature's a goat, for some reason, if someone else controls a goat. Which, this is going to be great in Sealed because changelings are goats. They're everything. So imagine swinging in for five instead of two with this. If you have this and someone else has that. Maybe. This Kroos and Tusker, this is from a Commander Precon as well. I have one. I don't use it. I don't use it. Here's another... Oh, this is a beast. I was expecting it to be a bear. Uh, uh, it's actually not bad. This is essentially an 8-8, as long as there's a land in your graveyard. This isn't the worst. It has trampled too, so it can get through. This is okay for a common, actually, especially in the beast tribal decks. This is pretty good. Goblin warrior, haste, exalted, so you're swinging it for one regardless. It's pretty good. I actually really like this in the goblin decks and exalted decks. Target play discards two cards. Um, first, again, the art. Let's get back to that really quick. The art is these contrasting colors, dude. Wizards is they're either hiring the right artists or actually giving them insane direction on what to make for cards. Keep that up, please. 
uh, and it has overload. So in the any of the discard heavy or draw heavy card decks in Commander, I actually really love this. Uh, not enough people play uh, hand destruction in Commander, I feel like, which please don't, against me at least, but this is pretty good in those decks. I don't really want to talk about any of these. Sliver, Man of War, you already know about, Mob. Uh, free destroy target creature, basically, if you have enough creatures out, Convoke. It's okay. Uh, Goblin War Party. Eh, eh. I mean, the Entwine, but that it's just uh, too expensive. Mother Bear. I mean, you have to love this card for the art. There's little bears in the background looking around while the mom kind of just treks through the woods. Wholesome art. Okay card overall. Martyr Soul. Uh, this is like the free creature, almost. You're paying one mana for a 3-2, and it's a battlefield of control, no tapped land, so tap all your shit and cast this bad boy. You get a 5-4. That's not the worst for even 3 mana, but you want to try to cast this for 1. It's pretty okay. Another ninja. Make a 1-1 one, one blue illusion. With flying? You're going to put it in ninjas. I don't know if you're going to put this ninja. N ninja of the new moon. I mean, I like the art on this one, but I like the art on this one a lot more. And this does something. So you're going to put this one in your deck. You're probably not going to touch this one. Igneous Flame. Hey, this is the name of my lizard, Igneous. Igneous Elemental. I think she wants out. I'll take her out after I edit this video, though. Okay. Um, this spell costs two less to cost. There's a graveyard, or a land in your graveyard. Um, eh, no. Absolutely not. No, I mean it's a mongoose fighting a snake, so that's cool. It has shroud. I think this was just a reference to the old mongoose card. Uh, I mean, absolutely gorgeous art. I'm a big fan of the gingers. Um, untapped target snow permanent. Uh, in the snowlands, in the snow matters decks, this is great. Lava dart. I actually think this is going to do a whole lot of work. People are sleeping on this common. Uh, you can flash back to sack a mountain. Just cast it again it's not the worst. It's definitely not the worst. Persist. Eh. Until I turn target creature becomes a 3-3. Three, three. This is one of those cards that can mess up uh, combat. Consider it. No. This is a white removal. Well, one of those enchantments that turns something into something else. It's okay. And it's a coward for that one commander that matters about that uh, this is, you want this in your ninja decks, if this is foil, this is going to look sick. No. I mean, not no, but not great for rank officer. It's a battlefield, you may discard a card if you do create a 2-2. Two -two. Maybe, actually, after upon reading it again. Maybe in your zombie tribal. Delve in red. I think this is the first delve card for red. Okay, hold on, I'm taking out my lizard. I'll cut, I'll splice this part of the video or something. I don't know how. Oh, hold up. Let me let me show. I'm back. Went on a bathroom break. Oh, oh, oh there she goes. Oh. 
SBMTG has what is, what's his cat's name? Iggy? No, Ziggy. Ziggy's his cat's name. I have Iggy. I have a big old bearded dragon here. Um, where were we? I think we were at oh the red delve card. Magmatic sinkhole. Let me move my chair a little bit. Um, five damage to dark creature planeswalker for delve. This can help you. I don't think it's great, but it can help you. Uh, savage swipe. Another overgrowth or not overgrowth. Um, Titanic growth esque card. It's okay. It's a fight card for one mana sorcery. It's really okay. Spore Frog is one of the most hyped comments. I'm so, so happy to see this back because it is an expensive card for a comic because it just hasn't been reprinted in a long time. It's really good, the, especially near Modrotha, Marin decks. This, this does, this does mad work. Well, I'll just say that much. It is, <laughs> it's arguably one of the more toxic cards I have in my Modrotha deck because once it's out, wh what do you do? W what do you do? You do your best to remove it, but you just sack it. Okay, I'm fogged for the rest of the turn. Oh, you're attacking me. I fog. I'll play it again on my turn. Fight me. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? Ugh, I'm being attacked. Here, go, go up there. Go up there, you big butt. Ugh. Okay. Look at the top three cards you're like. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at the top three cards you library, put one of them in your hand with her, uh, I mean, for black, that's kind of weird to get, like, a very blue effect, and it goes into your graveyard. I actually really like this, this is probably insane for a common ponder mage, fixed ponder for modern, not gonna see modern play, but the art is pretty cool. Uh, the rhino soldier, battle cry, no. One mana, one one flying vigilance, not the worst actually, especially near angel tribal. You kind of you might want this. Prohibit counter dark spells, CMC two or less. No, I mean it's an okay. I like the art. I don't know if I can keep saying that about every card in this set, but I'm sorry, the the art in the set's just insane. Return from extinction, return target card from recovery to your hand, return two target cards from your hand, that share a creature. This is, put it in your blank tribal decks, any tribal with blank, so with your vampires. Edgar loves this. Slivers will obviously love this, pretty sure that's two slivers in the, in the, in the art here. Of course it is. Put it in your decks, the first sliver calls the dead answer. Yep, yep, mm-hmm. Pyrophobia, type deals so it's a it's a shock and cowards can't block this turn so if for some reason you're in draft and someone has a buttload of those changelings and you need to get through this helps you uh, sacrifice land if you do search your library for two basic lands put them on the battlefield tap and this is i mean once again the art is completely bonkers the orange in the background the brown trees the the green and the the, the very bright beautiful green here and i actually think this is pretty good in commander Fornado. <laughs> okay, they're they're getting re pretty punny here. Some with some of these cards, and, and the flavor is pretty neat. Start talking creature with flying cycle. It, it's okay. I'll I'll just give it that based on the name alone. Uh, tap with two target creatures. Oh, up to two target creatures can't block this turn. Cycle. No. Uh, exploit when another creature control dies. Put a plus and plus with counter. On. It can taste until end turn. If it exploited that creature. I mean, this is not good. <laughs> I'm just, just going to be rough. I'm just going to say it's not good. And after you get a hippie girl, Reign of Revelation, just draw three cards, a discard a card. Four mana instant speed, probably okay. This is probably okay. And I like the art. Um, Choose Wonder Bolt, Exile Target Creature you don't control, Exile Target Creature you control, then this is okay for four mana, five mana, maybe not, especially sorcery. Maybe not. I don't think so. You can see almost the whole butt on this chick, so we're gonna like this card anyway. Shelter. I don't. It's a little little lewd for today, if you ask me. Like what? Whoa! I'm a very hot chick here. Uh, two mana target creature control against protection from the color of your choice. So temporary mother of runes kind of deal. I mean, maybe this is actually pretty okay in the feather decks. You can just be like, uh, I'll protect this dude. It won't die. And you draw a card, so it replaces itself. 
in feather. This is just draw a card, save your creature. It's pretty good. Scour all possibilities, scry two, then draw a card, flashback. <laughs> not the worst. Not the worst, but not something I would play typically. There's an uncommon all the way down here for some reason. No. I mean, if when it's in your graveyard, it has flashback and it becomes lightning helix, but probably not overall. Reckless Charge, weird reprint. I actually thought it was already modern legal, but mm, it's okay. Plus two. Oh, this is Tree Folk Umbra. I mean, the Totem Armor makes this card pretty good as is. It's only three mana. Saves your creature, and it flips. It, it It's it's good in those the big butt decks. You want that in your big butt decks. Treetop Ambusher. Dash is back. It's weird to see all these, like, abilities that there's only, like, one of in the set. It's weird. But I like it. Um... Shenanigans. You're gonna play this just because it says shenanigans. It destroys target artifact and it has dredge one. I think it's also the only red card that has dredge. I think you want this. It's okay. It's definitely pretty okay because all you're doing is you you, you, you you play it. You know what dredge does. If you don't, I'll read it really quick. If you if you would draw a card instead, you may put exactly one card from the top of your library into the graveyard. If you do, return this card from your graveyard to your hand. Otherwise, draw a card. This just lets you play Destroy Target Artifact again. This will let you... This just helps. I actually really like this card. Wish it did maybe anything else. There are better Destroy Artifact cards, but this this is still pretty solid. Especially in like a graveyard-centric deck with reds, like a Jund deck perhaps might want this to help fill your graveyard and put this card back in your hand if you know someone just put a problematic artifact into play. It's not, it's not the worst. Umazawa's Charm. Uh... You probably won't play this. You might even draft sealed type deals, but I don't see this seeing play outside of that. This is an enchantment for ninjas. Plus one, plus one. It has flying. So we give a ninja flying. The arts are kind of cool. It's like a ninja jumping out of smoke or whatever from a building. When a ninja enters the battlefield under your control, you may return target. You may return smoke cloud from your graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, dang. Actually, that's for a common. That's really good for ninjas. Soul strike technique has vigilance when this creature dies manifest top card of your library it's it's weird to see like the dude punching like the manifest token or the manifest token is his fist otherwise it's an okay card plus two plus two overload no maybe in feather but otherwise no counterspell if you have five more life draw a card awful counterspell you're, if you're already at five or life five life or less this it, it's just too situational to draw that extra card the art's pretty cool, though. I do like that a lot. Uh, Unearth. This is a, a reprint of a really, really good card. Play this. Return target creature card from your with CMC 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Cycle 2, so if it's bad in your hand, cycle it. Otherwise, dude, yes. <laughs> you, it, it puts it straight back onto the battlefield. That's, that's exactly what you want. Uh, a Minotaur. Minotaur Tribal, Didgeridoo, Gulf and Price. 3 3 Elephant Creature Token, Rebound, so make two. One on your turn, one on your next turn. Elephant Tribal, maybe? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, from your graveyard, search delivery for a card, no. Target play, I, okay, 7 Cannon, killing it again. Like, th I, I really don't, this dude has the craziest mind and the craziest art talent. And so much time on his hands. Wizards, you you better be loving on my boy. Like, so very much for him to be putting so much love and time into this incredible art here. Like, good lord. Just take a minute. Take a minute to breathe this in. I'll read the card in a second, but let's just... <sighs> love our boy. Target player puts the top four cards of his library into the graveyard. You shuffle up the four cards from your graveyard into your library and it has Replicate. When you cast a spell, copy it for each time you pay to triplicate costs. You can just create infinite mana, I guess. Mill someone with this card, I guess, maybe? I wasn't say exile it after you replicate it, so you could, I imagine. Changeling with Death Touch, 1-3. This is good. This is good. All the Changeling this set are pretty good. Trample Haste for 3. At the beginning of your upkeep, return to its owner's hand cycle. 
I actually don't hate this. I can only imagine what this can do. If it was a changeling with this kind of effect, it would be completely disgusting. Um, I definitely see this being a pretty good limited bomb. Not bomb, but pretty good and limited at the very least. Trample haste and return it to your hand. And you can cycle it when you're just done paying its mana cost. You're just like, I hate this card, get rid of it. Uh, maybe I'm overrating this, but I, I don't hate it. I really don't. To win Silk Spider and Spadefield. There's this uh, Spider Commander from uh, Eldritch Moon, I believe, that might like this card. And it's not bad. It's definitely not the worst. Create a uh, create two spiders with reach for three mana. Maybe, definitely a maybe. But otherwise, I don't think so. Maybe in that specific deck. But otherwise, eh, eh, eh. eh. Uh, Wall of 1000 Cuts. This is just Wall of Swords again. Uh, and it can t and it has the ability... Oh, I think Wall of Swords could just do this. I don't actually remember what Wall of Swords could do. It, but pretty much this is just Wall of Swords. And it was it was almost literally this. It was just... <laughs> uh, uh, Wall of Swords is just a fun card. I have it in my Amanachi deck because it's a good defender. It's got big butts. It's got decent stats. It's fairly costed. And it's a flying defender with these, these these stats. It's pretty good. You should play this. Uh, another an insane set of mechanic art. Return target creature to its owner's hand, and that creature's controller. So this is like, oh, there's a red card that does this, but it deals damage instead. I could actually see you maybe teaming up with someone in commander, being like, hey, I want to return that, return this to my hand. I'll return that. Let's just let's get some weird, cool bounce triggers. Uh, um, and you use them for someone else on someone else. I, I like this. This is really insane. Common. I'm glad they're giving Seb the opportunity to make really insane art and giving him really awesome cards at the same time. I think he also designed one of the Horizon Lands too. When which one another creature control does scry one. This is okay in the Aristocrats decks. I think this does other thing el other uh, other things, but it is a goblin. So if you're running Rakdos goblins. You might want this, I guess. Rakdos Goblin Aristocrats. Maybe. Ugh. Gain three life in Storm. <laughs> I mean, if they were to make a Storm card, I guess this. I guess. Mm, target creature can flying. No. Winter's Arrest. Uh, no, there's no permanent. It's okay. In limited, if you're running the snow. If you're running the snow stuff, it's okay. I'll, I'll just tell you that. <laughs> Target creature or land, reveal the top four cards, put all cards of the chosen type, this way into your hand. It's kind of like a green draw spell, and I like that there's like this cool like snake hidden into the, the art a lot. Um, It's probably okay. This is probably okay at best. Uh, Maybe great on the chance that you get like just a bunch of good cards, but eh, it's okay. Okay, so now we're on to the multicolored cards, and there are some bonkers multicolored cards i shouldn't have wasted all my time talking about all those commons and uncommons because most of them are pretty much useless but this is where things get interesting ren and six i love this thing it's gonna make the lands matter decks matter more and it's really interesting two mana planeswalker like a good two mana planeswalker with three loyalty uh it's plus one is return target land from your graveyard to your hand duh that's that's insane and the the cruel lands matters decks are jund Deals one damage to any target. This can be good. Uh, I can see where this would matter. Destroy the one drops or the, the planeswalker just chilling at one that just killed one of your dudes or something. You may get you get an emblem with incense and sorceries in your graveyard have retrace. You want this. You absolutely want this. It takes four turns for this to do anything, but I I absolutely love this. The art is crazy. It's like this dude coming out of like a tree Eldrazi type looking deal. Where you going, Rudy? There you go. Yeah, it was attached to my, my dreads. Uh, Kess is modern legal. I hope that she does something cool, because I absolutely love this card. I'm rebuilding it right now. I had it built, and I didn't like what it did. It was just too... I don't know, too too lame. It just it, it wins the same way a lot. But it is a really fun commander if you like the Spells Matter. It's probably the best Spells Matters commander. And it came in the Wizards Precon, which is dope. I like this card. I hope it does something in modern. At the same time, I hope it doesn't the way the, the price goes down so I can pick up another one, I guess, because I love this card. 
Uh, the first sliver. Listen, giving sliver slivers cascade. I don't like this card. I don't like this at all. Slivers and the Urza. I, I don't like him. Uh, the Boros slivers is nuts. Slivers, you control half flying in haste. Why? Why? Collective Conjuring, exile the top six cards of your library, and we put up the two instances of two sorcery cards, as you see three or less from among the men without paying the mana cost, but the exile cards, not casting on the bottom. Eh. Eh. I, 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 it might be okay, but I'm not too sure. Old Domery's Call, needed reprint. I love this card. It's a tutor for two. Search your library for a creature card, reveal that card, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. It's an instant speed. You want this. You absolutely want this. Uh, the Fallen Shinobi. This is just Sekiro. Uh, when inches the bat, when deals combat, I should play that player. Exile the top two cards of the library until the end of turn. You may pay those cards without paying the mana cost. This is the most necessary ninja in the ninja decks. Hogark. Um, it's a free commander. It has trample. I wish it had abilities, but it doesn't. It, it, it's it's good in the 99, probably better than it is as a commander, but I can see it's being pretty okay as a commander. Ice Fang Kotal. Good. Flash Flying. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card, so replo. Oh, what are you. <laughs> He's climbing on my head. Oh, what are you doing? You guys can't see her because she's behind me, but she's like on my neck right now. I, uh, it has Death Touch as long as you control it through more Snow Permanence. I like it just for the first like three abilities. Uh, it's only a one one, but it is a snake. So when this it's in the c proper colors for snake tribal too. So keep that in mind more so than the bottom part. To be honest, uh, Kaya's Guile. I absolutely love Kaya as a planeswalker. Conceptually, she's just a fuck a ghost assassin. What is not to love about that? Like she overthrew the odds of that with Kaya. Like or not Kaya with uh, Tesa. She's just a badass. This card is pretty okay. Choose to each player, each opponent sacrifices a creature. Exile all opponents' graveyards. You're probably gonna choose those two almost every single time. But if you feel like adding three, D, three more, you can get a little bit of everything. I really only feel like you're gonna pay the three and get use these two, sack the creatures, and then exile graveyards. It's not bad, and it's an instant speed, so keep that in mind. Lightning elemental. <laughs> I like this card, Trample Haste, for three. This is just a lightning ball or whatever it was. For, I think it was like a 5-1, just coming into the player. That player discards two cards and then sack it. This is good. This is really good. <laughs> reap, uh, reap the past. Return X card from your giver. From your giver to your hand. Exile, reap to the past. It's okay. I really like the art. These, like, element -y blasting. He's coming out of the ground. It's kind of neat. Unsettled manor. It's another changeling whenever... Oh, this is just going to be good in humans. That's it. Uh, true folks, no permanence. Tap target creature and opponent controls that creature. Eh. I mean, I'm sure this is okay in the snow matters deck. Again, here's a really insane uh, enchantment. This is... Oh, oh. This this could have been a rare, in my opinion. There are some meh rares, and this could have definitely been one. Uh, and she's about to choose a creature type. Let's just say vampires. Keep it consistent with the theme here. Creatures you control the chosen type get plus one, plus one. Sack a creature of the chosen type. Target creature you control gains indestructible end of till end of turn. For three mana. The art is nuts. And it, all these effects. Yes. Yes, my friends. This is the real deal for the tribal. Uh, another unicorn. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on that creature. This is I have a Zapperling deck that is black, green, white. So, uh, can't remember what that combination's called, but this is gonna be great in that. Make my my boys bigger. Another ninja when he deals coming out to play a draw a card. I mean, for four mana, you don't want to pay that, but for the ninja two cost, you definitely want this necessary ninja. Uh, another sliver. I don't care. When the battlefield, you may have a deal damage to start creature or planeswalker with the number of cavalry you control. The art is nuts. I, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a, a flying, what, shark over here? Maybe that's another shark tail. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Again, the art in the set is just... I love it. They're really doing great with this set. Uh, spider. Oh, this is another one for the good spider commander from that... Uh, uh, Eldritch Moon. Nature's Charm, Destroy Target, 
artifact or enchantment. I mean, for two mana, this isn't the worst. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's okay, I guess. Because whenever it attacks, it's going to equal the number of cards you've drawn this turn. No, no, no. More insane Seb McKinnon art, dude. This. I really, this dude's going places. I absolutely love him. I don't know if this will go in spirits or not, but when a creature is when a creature is exiled from the battlefield, put up. So this is good for the bouncy decks. We'll put up at the beginning of your upkeep, and excuse me, at the beginning of your step, you may exile another creature you control. Return it to the battlefield under its own control. So this is actually pretty nuts in the flicker decks and the art. Like, <laughs> what what in the world, dude? It, it it's it's just so cool. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. It's crazy. When this creature dies, you may have a deal combat or any target, even the number of lands in your graveyard. Actually, this is okay. Two mana, two, two. This is a bear with upside. Bears with upside tend to be great. This is great. Uh, the Swords of Truth and Justice. This is the one everyone's talking about. This one proliferates, and it puts a plus one, plus one counter on the creature. It's okay. I mean, Atraxa wants this. I don't know how many other things want this, but it's okay. It's probably one of the better swords, or at least compared... I mean... Okay, to be honest, let's compare these swords really quick. This one gets protection from red and black. This one gets protection from white and blue. This one proliferates and puts a plus one, plus one counter on that creature that's equipped to this. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to the player, destroy up to one target planeswalker and up to one target artifact. I actually really like this sword more than this sword. This sword's way more applicable to way more situations, and it protects it from the two colors that have the most removal in the game. I don't really... I mean, I get the hype. Everyone sees proliferate and then poops their pants. But protection from red and black is way more important than the sometimes like, applicable side of proliferate. I'm sorry. I, I actually really like this more. Traxa loves this. I love this. Mox Tantalite. <sighs> I mean, you won't be upset opening this card. You'll be upset that it's a mythic. And there are way more better mythics than this. But it's... It's just slow three turns for one mana. Maybe if it was two, if this thing was two, I'd be all over this card. But for one, or for nothing, and spend for three turns, mm, no, I don't think so. Maybe, but I don't see it, as especially as a mythic. This just feels like a waste of a mythic slot. I'd been fine with this as a rare mox, which would have been unheard of, but hey, we just had a set with 36 planeswalkers, which was unheard of. Whatever. Morpheon, you already you you know everything about this card. Fist of Sons, Joda, you know. This is the tribal commander for tribes that don't have commanders. Altar of Dementia is a necessary reprint. It's kind of expensive right now, and it's modern legal now. I don't know if this will do anything in modern, but I personally love this card. Uh, Scrapyard Recumber, Contract Modular Two, Sack Artifacts, or Shall I Refer a Construct Card? So go get your Walking Ballista. That's it. Um, any of these really worth... Actually, this. This is one of the most insane uncommons, in my opinion. Uh, four tap, make a 2-2 two -two shapeshifter token with changeling. Make a bunch of 2-2 two -two vampires. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Uh, another scarecrow, for those of you who love scarecrow tribal. I'm sorry, she was on with my dreads again. Uh, doesn't untap during your untap step, pay two, put a plus plus one counter on. Eh. I mean, the untap ability is something I'd love to see more of. I think it's way more interesting. It's a lot harder to balance, I imagine, but this is good for Scarecrows. Uh, it's a w one drop for snow for a 2-2. Two -two. I mean, for the snow matters, it matters. And discard a card, it deals one damage to persist. No. The charm or the talismans. I mean, I'm happy to see them back, but uh, Tolarian Community College. I share his sentiment on that. I mean, these I'm okay with, but there are definitely certain points where I don't think that every cycle of you know these talismans or whatever, just as an example, don't necessarily need to be finished. These are good in Commander, though. So if you get them, you're gonna be happy. Fountain of Vicar. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a weird card. It's a it taps for one man of any color for three. You don't like that very much, but for three, it becomes a dinosaur artifact creature until end of turn. Okay. <laughs> uh, amorphous axe. Uh, this is gonna look sick in foil. The purple like 
whatever coming off this dude is gonna look so cool in foil. Um, it gets plus three plus one is every creature type. It's pretty good for two and the three equipped. I, I mean, if you'd like equipment and you have some non vampires in your vampire tribal deck, you might want this. It's pretty okay. Uh, Arkham's Astrolobe. Uh, it's a battle draw a card. Has to be with the snow. Fixes your mana, but I don't like anything that I have to put mana into to fix my mana. So I don't like this card, but it does replace itself. You might like this in draft. And the art's kind of cool. One mana, one one changeling. But there was a sliver, metallic sliver. This is metallic sliver, but for everything. Maybe it's okay. Maybe you put this in place of, you, like, you just have that slot. You're like, ah, oh, man, what do I what do I put here in your tribal decks? Here you go. Eat your heart out. Uh, here's the, the full art lands. The full art snow lands are okay. I'm disappointed they keep using this border. I'd like to see another border, but eh. It's okay. It's okay. And here's the Seb McKinnon art. I was talking about his first... I think this is his first land. I don't don't quote me on that. He might have others. But this is the first one I know about. And, of course, it's beautiful. And it's in the right colors. The colors that he almost always gets assigned to de design cards for. These Horizon lands are going to be nuts. You're going to be extremely excited to get them. You want to play them in Commander. Paying the one life to fix your mana is not always that big of a deal. And when you're done shock, uh, hitting yourself for one, you just get rid of this and draw a card. That's That alone is pretty good. I mean... In Modrotha, let's say you have the Waterlog Grove. You just play this as your land for turn, and you have her out. Then you sack it, draw a card. This is just one mana draw a card on a land. Think about that. If you don't think these lands are good, you're not wrong. They're, they're definitely a little overhyped, because everyone sees Horizon Canopy and remembers that that card is, oh my god, $60, $70, uh. It's only that expensive, because it's the only one of its kind. And it's really good in, like every good deck in modern right now not all of these are going to see play in every modern deck but a lot of them obviously will uh i don't think they'll all be 60 dollars, especially on i mean after this especially after this set gets cracked open a lot which it definitely will uh you might want to look into getting some of these just try your best to get a place so you don't gotta buy four at a time maybe get one or two if you find a good deal or trade for them um yeah they're good Obviously, everyone's super hyped about them. I'm hyped to see the Psycho Lands back and reprinted. I, I only have a few from the Commander Precons. It's good to see them in like a, a set you can buy. The art on a lot of them, the red one is just beautiful. Like I don't really like the blue one. It's kind of boring, but it, it's okay. It's, got, it's lonely sandbar. It, it looks good for a lonely sandbar, but man, like look at this plains. Or, well, this white one. This the black one looks just sinister. This red one is absolutely gorgeous. This green one. Oh, man. The art in the set, dude. I'm sorry for... That's all I've talked about for, like, the last hour, but... Dude, <laughs> how can't I? Cavern of Temptation. Um, Sacrifice. Put two counters on target creature. Actively. Uh, I mean... Not really. Frostwalk Bastion. This is a man land for snow mana. Uh, whenever it deals damage to a creature, tap that creature. It's pretty okay, actually. This is an underappreciated comp... Or, uncommon right now. Uh, I believe SBMTG hyped it up a lot too. I have to agree. I actually think this is a pretty solid. It becomes a 2-3 artifact construct creature. It's still a land. <clears throat> and like I said, when it blocks, uh, that creature remains tapped until its next untapped step. That is... That's pretty good. Uh, slowing your opponents down like that is never a bad thing. Prismatic Vista. I feel like it's overhyped. Um... I don't know, something about just getting a basic, sacking, the, I'd almost rather just have this be a basic than sacking and getting a basic. Um, in Modrotha decks, or decks that where you can get the lands back, and you just, boom, here's, here, boom, here's, I'm just getting all my basics. It's okay. It, you are putting it onto the battlefield. In those specific situations, I really like Prismatic Vista. In just about every other situation, I don't. I don't really like this card very much. It feels like it could have been an uncommon and, I mean, maybe it's an uncommon to be too overpowered and, I don't know. I'm, j I'm just not on the hype train with this card, I guess. Now, the last card we're going to talk about is Hall of Heliod's Genis Generosity. The art is just freaking awesome, of course. Uh, they're really getting good at the contrasting colors. All this purple and this beautiful, just orange. This, is, this card's going to look insane in foil, and I expect it to be... 
insane in value to it. Adds colorless to your mana pool when you just tap it normally. But it has an ability for one and a white. One generic and white for tap. Re put target enchantment card from your graveyard on top of your library. Listen, that's not necessarily the greatest thing ever, but you can do this before your turn. Uh, on your turn, at the end of your turn, whatever, whenever you wish. It doesn't say it's sorcery speed or anything. And if someone destroyed your guy's cradle or whatever, not guy's cradle, that's a land, uh, doubling season. Let's just go with another big green expensive card. Uh, boom, you get it back. If you have a draw spell in your hand or whatever, or another way to draw cards, you almost get it back for nothing. That's good. It's really good. Um, my favorite cards in this set are anything with Sad McKinnon's art. Kess, happy to see Kess back in modern, which is really weird. I don't know if it'll see modern play, but it's basically a snap casting mage at the beginning of every turn, of your turns. Uh, Renin 6 is dope. Uh, I hate the slivers. I hate seeing slivers. Urza is dumb. Um, scroll through here, pick a few more decent cards that I like that aren't none of these commons and uncommons. So I don't, well, I mean, gotta, gotta love Tribute Mage. Any of the changelings, gotta love the tri the changelings. Uh, scatter. Uh, this this art's just gonna look insane, especially in foil. Um, merit wage is back. Winds of abandon. Nuts. Future sights. Cool. Fluster storm. The arts. What the hell's going on there? Even the oaf, op, whatever is great. Daughter of runes. The vampire. The force cards, well, at least the not not the white and red one. No, white and red one, not white and red one. Um, oh, and Yogmoth. Really hyped about Yogmoth. Oh, and Unbound Flourishings, oh my gosh. <sighs> wow, that was, that was a whole lot of talking. I never thought I'd be able to do anything crazy like this. I don't, I should, should have tried to make, um, like, uh, videos as they're spoiled. But I was a very busy man. For the last like month or so, I, uh, uh, let's just leave it at that. I don't really feel like talking about it. I think that's. I think I'm just gonna end it there. Look for the cards I said. Uh, tell me what your favorite cards are from this set. What are you most hyped about? Uh, leave it down in the comments below. I will do my best to reply to you because it's not like I have many people going to comment on this anyway. But if you do, hey, I'll be happy. Uh, so subscribe if you wish. Otherwise. Uh, like I said, I'm always bad at ending videos, so bye.